Hi, I'm Jennifer Horning from Light Church, and um, we just wanted to take this moment in this uh, kind of forced pause that we're experiencing with um, coronavirus uh, to maybe exhort you in a few things that we feel like the Lord's put on our hearts. Um, and for me, the few things that the Lord put on my heart was um, that in this season that we would have an unmatched empathy, um, that we would experience a peace that passes understanding, and we would know that we're a part of an unshakable kingdom. And that first one, um, unmatched empathy, I'm gonna be qu quoting Romans 12. It says, love must be sincere, hate what is evil, cling to what is good, be devoted to one another in brotherly love, honor one another above yourselves, Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice and mourn with those who mourn. And my big prayer in this season is that um, as a community of believers in Jesus Christ, um, that we would have an unmatched empathy in this time, that we would see um, the needs that people have and that we would be able to um, just be a force of love to those um, in this time. And then that we would know that we have a peace that passes understanding. Uh, Philippians 4, 6 through 7 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, with prayer and petition, make your requests be known to God. And the peace of God that passes all understanding will guard both our heart and our mind in Christ Jesus. And my prayer would be that in this season that we would experience a supernatural peace, that we would be able to be a presence of peace to the people around us, that we would have um, our security and our hope lying in Jesus Christ. And then the third thing is that we are a part of an unshakable kingdom. Hebrews 12, 28 says, therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful. And so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. In all this, um, I just wanna take a moment as um, a community to just pause and pray and um, welcome the Lord into this next season of our lives that we're all gonna go into together. Uh, Lord, we just come before you right now, Lord God, and I, I just, I pray, Lord God, that um, you, Lord, would be our anchor, Lord, that you would be our hope, Lord, that you would be our foundation, Lord Jesus, that you um, would be our focus. Lord, that our dependence would be on you. Lord, that our trust would be in you. I pray, Lord God, that we would have the deep knowing and realization that we get to be a part of a kingdom that cannot be shaken, that not even death could shake, Lord, your kingdom. And so I pray, Lord Jesus, that there would just be this um, depth to all of our souls in this time. Lord, I pray that also that we would experience, Lord, that your peace that passes all understanding. Lord, that in this time that it's making more sense for people to um, be frantic and have anxiety and have fear. Lord, that we would be um, a people that are marked by, Lord, your peace. Lord, that we would have a presence of peace to the communities around us. Lord, that that your peace would be guarding our hearts, that your peace would be guarding our minds in you. Lord Jesus, and um, lastly, I just pray that we would have an unmatched empathy, Lord, that we would see the needs of the people around us, Lord God, that um, we would not just be um, fixed within, Lord, our own selves and how it's affecting us and our lives, Lord, but that we would um, look out beyond, Lord, just our households and see um, how we could be the hands and feet to the people around us and how we could um, see and speak life and courage and help those um, 
that are around us in this time that's really affecting everyone. And um, I also pray that in this kind of forced elimination of hurry, um, Lord, that dreams would come from it, ideas would come from it, um, that there would just be this uh, revival that comes from this time um, that is just this slowed down, almost stopped period of time. Lord, that there would be, it would be the ground and um, the soil, Lord, for a birthing of something new. Lord God, that you want to do. And so we thank you. We love you. We praise you. And um, we we just, we give you all the glory for uh, what you're going to do in this next season. In your name we pray. Amen. <laughs>